Welcome to DJ Barbecue's Christmas Cookup. Today we are doing the ultimate roast. Turkey glazed at the end with Southern Comfort Black and Honey. Then pigs in blankets, we're gonna make a Southern Comfort Black and Cola and drizzle it on top and then roast those bad boys. And then bacon roast potatoes with all the fixings and trimmings. I got a room full of people and they are hungry. Hold on to your horses, I got ya. Let's do this. Turkey doesn't have to take all day. This bad boy, five kilos, will cook in less than two hours. The key is to pull it out 10 degrees before it's done, because it'll rise in temperature. And that way, you don't have a dry turkey. So we're gonna hit it with some salt, throw some veg in around it. Now the key with turkey is don't do your stuffing inside the cavity. You want airflow in there. That'll help it cook quicker. You don't want to suffocate it. The only thing I want to put in there is half a lemon and a sprig of rosemary. The only thing I'm going to put in that cavity, there's lots of airflow in there and that'll help cook the turkey. And I'm going to put a lemon over here and then just make it rain rosemary. And then just throw some sprigs around the gizzards and the bird. My, my mom, and I'm sorry mom I'm saying that, he used to serve me some dry turkey, <laughs> hence all the gravy. Well, this is the, the, the cheat, man. Loads of water in the bottom, and that'll help keep that turkey nice and moist, because it's gonna steam, create loads of moisture during the roast. All right, we're good to go. The almighty roast potato. How do you make them so perfect? Mama does them, your grandma does them, and now you are gonna do them. And this is the key. Fluffy potatoes. So you need to blanch your potatoes for about 18 minutes in like a medium boil. So I've already peeled them, cut them in half, cut them in quarters, depending on how big your potatoes are, and then you give it a fluff. So you fluff your potatoes. Now we're gonna make it snow with cornmeal. This is what my grandma used to use all the time back in Virginia Beach. Now, one of the most important bits for doing the crunchiest roast potatoes, super, super hot fat. Now it is Christmas, you know? We've got friends and family and I like to be a bit decadent. So in the pan, we've got duck fat. It's the most flavorsome of all the fats. So our fluffed potatoes go in you make sure the whole potato gets hit with the fat. So we're gonna roast these potatoes for about 20 minutes. We're gonna take them out and hit them with bacon and then go for another 20 to 25 minutes until they're golden brown. Now, everybody loves the roast potato, but roast potatoes with bacon, <laughs> that's next level stuff right there. So let's get these guys out and then add that amazing ingredient. Oh, that fat is going crazy. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of a, a stir. Oh gosh, okay, make sure they're all getting hit by the uh, hot fat. So you can use like thick bacon and cut it up or just pork belly or you can buy lard ons, but you just wanna add the bacon. So these have had about 20 minutes of hot heat and they're gonna go back in for the same time again. Um, you, you basically wanna cook these things so they're nice and golden and crispy. That can be 20 minutes, that can be 25 minutes. It just depends on your oven, if it's fan assisted. Okay, oh gosh. Yes, a little bit of a stir. Back in the oven. Calm down, Spoon. Everybody's getting all excited because dinner's almost ready. It wouldn't be Christmas without pigs in blankets. So we're gonna take this recipe to the upper echelons of flavor with Southern Comfort Black and Cola. So we got our lovely little sausages, and then we got some streaky bacon, and then we just put them in their blanket. So we wrap the bacon around the sausages and lay them out. So the bacon we're using is a lovely smoked streaky bacon, and then I just got the classic uh, mini pork sausages, or you can use chipolatas. You just want them skinny, nice and skinny, because this isn't the main event here. The turkey's the main event. These guys are, 
or sides or snacks or starters, man. You don't need to put any more salt on these guys because there's plenty already in there. We're gonna do more of a liquid seasoning with Southern Comfort Black and Cola. So there's our cola. We're gonna go with a splash of this on top of the Pigs in Blanket. Now the caramels from the cola and the bold flavors from the Southern Comfort Black are gonna mix so well with the savoriness of the Pigs in Blanket. And our final bit, Southern Comfort Black. Two shots with the splash of cola. And finally, a little shake. Bring all those flavors together. And in the oven, nice and hot. 180 degrees in the Celsius range. Are you guys ready for this? The easiest glaze, but it's full of bold flavors. So we got our mixing bowl, our whisk, and then it's just honey and Southern Comfort Black. We've got 200 grams of honey in the bowl. Now we need two shots of Southern Comfort Black or four tablespoons. So we got the Spirit of New Orleans in our bowl. We're now gonna whisk those flavors together. All right, let's get the bird out of the oven and do the glaze. You don't wanna cook the turkey for too long with this glaze because the sugars will burn. So it's only the last 15 to 20 minutes of the cook. I've been looking forward to this black and cola during that whole cook. Cheers, y'all. Mmm. Mm. Okay. I can hear my friends getting kind of crazy. They can smell that lovely roast turkey with the Southern Comfort Black and Honey Glaze. The Pigs in Blanket with that drizzled on top of Black and Cola right on there before we baked it. And then, oh, bacon, roast potatoes. Are you kidding me? Bread sauce grits, bacon fat sprouts, cranberry sauce baked beans. See, we're keeping even baked beans Christmassy. Braised cabbage, and then roasted yellow courgettes, or as my grandma would call them, roasted summer squash. Oh man, how good does that look? It's time now for chef's treats. I worked hard, so I get to have my favorite bit of turkey right inside this turkey wing. Oh my God. Well, never know. Mm. Wow. That glaze is so good. Mm. They're gonna be, they're gonna be pumped. Okay guys, Merry Christmas. We'll see y'all next time. Come on guys, come and get it, man. Dinner's up. <laughs>